What's up guys? We are back with another video. If you are new here, my name is Sammy and we are the roommate gay. This is where you can come and suspend your disbelief. I am your favorite manifestation coach and your favorite YouTuber of all time, ever and forever. So, if you would like for me to help you dissolve whatever's between you and your manifestation, go ahead and sign over coaching with me right here. All right, someone requested me to talk about revision again. So, we are going to talk about revision today, tonight, whatever time it is, wherever, whenever you're watching this. So, revision. I know the revision that we all know and love is Neville's way of revising, which is absolutely correct. Um, this video is a no argument with Neville's way. I want to add to it. So revision to me, in my experience, and the experiences of a lot of like my subscribers, my viewers, uh, my group members, revision is more than just going back and changing a memory. That is not the only thing you're revising. And it's not the only way to revise. I personally am not a visual person. We all know this. I can get a visual if I'm affirming. I can get a natural visual. But for me, visualizing, like intending to visualize to manifest, is not my thing. I prefer affirming. We all know this. So I make, I revise in my own way. And so that's the way we're going to talk about today. Because most of you already know Neville's way of revision would be like going into the memory and like changing whatever part you don't like about it and replaying that over and over again instead. And that's fine if you want to do it that way if you're a visual person. But there are other ways. That's not the only way to do it. And there's plenty, plenty, plenty of videos on Neville's way of revising. I want to talk about the way I do it and the way I give to my clients, especially my clients who come to me for affirming. So one, revision doesn't just have to change the past. You can use revision for something you just did five seconds ago, which I guess is technically the past, but most people think it's like past, past revision. But you can use it for something you just did, something you just reacted to. You can use it to stop a pattern, something that you keep repeating over and over again. It's not just for having to go back and re revise like your childhood, which you absolutely can. And there's, in, there's easier ways to do it rather than having to go back and relive whatever it is that you're trying to erase and replace. So let's say you want to revise a bad pattern, a negative pattern that you keep freaking repeating. Although we know it's because you are habitually changing or choosing the same thoughts over and over, I feel like revision could help in this scenario because it will help you not choose those thoughts anymore rather than it being such a struggle to choose different thoughts and have to fight with that. Which can still absolutely be done, but if you would like to just revise the pattern in general, you can do that. You can I like to use words for revision. I like to use words like always. So to imply that something has always been a certain way rather than the way that I'm dealing with currently. Let's say, for example, you have a past or you have a pattern of a shitty relationship with your SP. I'm going to do a money ex example too. Just hold on a second. Let's say your relationship with your SP has always been absolute garbage. Okay. Like they ghost you. It's hot and cold. Like it's just absolutely inconsistent, shitty, terrible. Okay. So the way you're going to revise this rather than to continue reacting, choosing thoughts about how terrible it is, and going through the same pattern of it gets better and then it gets bad, then it gets better, then it gets bad, then, you know, the patterns, they suck, okay? So what you're going to do is you are going to revise it by affirming something like, something like, our relationship has always been perfect. Like I said, I like to use words like always because we are going to imply that something has always been good. It has always been this way. So whatever way we want it to be, even though by experience we're used to it being a certain way, a shitty way, we are going to revise it by using the word always to imply to our mind that that actually was never true. Actually, 
it's always been this way. It's always been absolutely perfect and wonderful and peaceful and consistent. And we've always been so happy together because if your mind has no, your mind is holding on to the experience of it constantly being shit. Okay. So when you revise and you tell yourself, no, it's always been amazing because in your mind to you, it has always been shit. Well, now we are choosing that it has always been perfect. So you are going to be repeating the affirmation. Our relationship has always been perfect. It has always been this way. It has always been wonderful. He has always been loyal to me. He has always been kind to me. He has always treated me like a queen. He has always been the best boyfriend to me girlfriend, whatever. By telling yourself this, by affirming this, by revising this with the repetition, you are implying to your mind that things have always been wonderful. And therefore there is no past pattern for it to recreate because you've just changed it. You've changed the pattern. It would be the same for money. So you've always had a shitty relationship with money. You've always been broke. You've always had money problems. Okay. No, not anymore. You've always had the best luck with money. You have always had so much money. You grew up rich. You've always been rich. You've always had so much money. This can go for any shit pattern in your life because when it's a pattern and it's something you want to revise and you want to change anything that that thing has affected, which it will, we all know that revision changes the past and it changes any negative effects that it could have had because if it never existed, then all of those things would not have happened. So. You change the pattern by saying it has always been this way rather than this way. And then anything that the bad way caused is going to repair itself, go away, whatever. I don't, I, I don't know because I don't know your specific situation, but it's a ripple effect. Okay. I know a lot of people say revision is just changing a bad memory. No, it's not. It's you're actually literally changing the past. You're changing a pattern. You're stopping a negative pattern. Because your brain is not, your brain can't choose something that it doesn't exist anymore. So if you're telling yourself, I have always had the best luck with money, then your brain is not going to expect you to have a shitty time with money or have a problem with money anymore. And you're not going to go through the same cycle with money anymore because that cycle no longer exists. So it only now knows because of the revision that you've always had the best luck with money. And it only now knows that you've always had a happy relationship. You've always had the best luck with relationships. A lot of people have a pattern of shitty relationships. No, I've always had the best luck with the relationships. So then now everything is going to reflect that. Everything that the shitty pattern was causing is going to switch. It's going to shift. And now instead of having really bad luck with the relationships or really bad luck in your own relationship or having a shitty relationship, it's all going to shift and switch to everything being good everything you it's going to create experiences that prove that you've always had the best luck with relationships because that's what we're doing when we're when we're manifesting we are choosing experiences and then the 3d confirms what we're experiencing here so if you use affirmations to revise it's going to not only revise the pattern Revise whatever happened, even if it's not a pattern, even if it's something negative that you experienced a long time ago, like say you had a shitty childhood. No, I had a wonderful childhood. Everything was so perfect. I had the best, happiest childhood. Um, the money one, even if it's not a pattern, you had like a bad experience with money. Like maybe you lost a bunch of money at some point or you just had some kind of bad experience with money. No. I've always had the best luck with money. I've always had the best experiences with money. Pattern or no pattern. Any negative thing in your past, you can literally affirm, no, I've only ever had good experiences with this. This has only ever worked perfectly for me. Or maybe you want to revise that your SP cheated on you. Or you want to revise that you did something to them that made you break up. That never happened. We've always had a perfect relationship. They've only ever been loyal to me. They've always been loyal to me. I've always been the only person they care about. I've always been the only person they're attracted to. Um, I've never done anything to hurt them. I've only ever been loyal to them. I've only ever been perfect to them. I've only ever been the perfect partner. Only, always, 
it's always it's always been this way is my go-to I always find a way to <laughs> always to use the word always for revision because it just is a very easy word that implies to your mind that something has always been this way because we tend to latch on to negative experiences that we have or negative patterns that we have by saying well it's always been this way it's always been this way no it's always been wonderful it's always been perfect I've always had the best luck with money I've always had the best luck with relationships I've always had the best luck with everything whatever so yeah, there's just a few tips of how you can just use affirming to revise. Um, of course, if you're a visual person and you want to do it that way, that's absolutely fine. But for the ones who request me to do an updated version of revision, I thought it would only be fitting if I do it, if I tell you about how I do it and how I help my affirmation clients do it um, because I find that to be easier. I like affirming and I like to be able to do everything with affirming and you can. You can even revise the past with affirming okay most of the situations are negative patterns that I've dealt with so that is why I gave examples for how to correct negative patterns you're taking away you're removing the negative experience that you keep recreating you're removing it from your mind and removing it from ever happened literally and so then your mind will not choose or your mind will not expect or recreate that experience anymore because how can it how can it recreate an experience that never happened because it's not always been bad it's always been good does that make sense I hope this video helped your revision questions and maybe gave you an easier way to revise so you can break your shady patterns okay thank you so much for watching please be sure to like share comment and subscribe and we out